Another thing, a mistake that I see people making when it comes to building a business around the passion, and this was a mistake that I made in the past, was undervaluing you and your work. You know, sometimes when we try and build a business around a passion, sometimes you don't have a lot of confidence in ourselves. Sometimes you don't have a lot of self-esteem. Sometimes we question, well, would anyone actually pay me money for something that I make? You know, when I think back to my fiction books, when I wrote the fiction books, I didn't think anyone would pay me money for an idea that was in my head that I put into a book. And it took me a while to get over that, to see that there was value in me. And again, when I created my first couple of digital products, I kept the price as low as possible. And the reason I kept the price low was because I had no confidence in myself. I didn't believe in myself. Now, I believed in the products that I created. I believed that the video courses I made did solve a problem. And if someone did buy that course, that problem would be gone forever. But I didn't see the value in me. And in some cases, I probably could have charged maybe $97 for a digital product or even more. And yet here was I going selling them maybe for $7 or $17. Now the customer was getting a bargain, but I wasn't making much money. And that is a big problem sometimes if you don't really believe in what you're doing. You know, you might know that you provide good work, but if you don't believe and if you have this kind of mental programming of accepting value for what you do, sometimes it's difficult to take money back from customers and things like that. And sometimes we, you know, don't want to accept big paydays. So what you need to realize is if you want to make money, in your passion business, you're going to need to up your prices.